The thing that you truly look at with this order is it has some versatility in it, guys. You have guys that can do a couple different things. I like Francisco Lindor batting third uh, because he doesn't change his game. If the situation calls for it, he'll try to hit behind a guy. And I think the one thing he did in that last couple series, he's expanding his zone a little bit when it comes to swinging the bat. He's willing to go for that low pitch and, and, and drive it the other way. He's willing to hit the high fastball if he has to. And now that you have Michael Brantley back and hopefully you have him in the lineup five to six days a week, uh, it Look, he can drive runs in. I think we have the number, and we show it all the time. With runners in scoring position, I want to say he's a career 300 hitter. Yeah, he won't hit the 30, 40 bombs, but he will drive the run in, and that's what this is really about, and that's what this team needs right now, guys. Andre, uh, real quickly, at the bottom of the lineup now, we see Tyler Naquin's had a ton of success. Jose Ramirez is going to be down there tonight. To me, this order is so much more lengthened than what it was last year and extremely athletic. So to me, I'll ask you this, with Santana at the top, perhaps that's Terry Francona's mindset, guys that are going to be on in front of him, and he's not that prototypical leadoff hitter, but he's a guy that's a run producer. No, I like where you're going with it. I think the one thing that Terry said when we were in, the, in Philadelphia and in a National League park, he goes, well, the turnover is way different you don't have any balance if I would have put Santana at leadoff because you had the hitter batting or the pitcher excuse me batting ninth now as you said Naquin's hitting the ball feeling good about himself with good speed Ramirez it goes back to that versatility look I'm not gonna sit here and make it out like this team is the 27 Yankees but it does give some versatility they can score some runs in some different ways and then when you do turn it over you have Santana and Kipnis two guys and you know on some years on this team could bat three four or four or five or two three it suddenly hopefully can get you get a big inning going here and there because if the Indians could get a couple big innings we talk about four runs being so big for the Cleveland Indians and I think Terry right now is just trying to find the exact combination that can make it work and if Santana hits here the way he did over the road trip from that leadoff spot I think he's going to be stuck there for a long time boys.